hello there i hope you had a good day so today we're going to go to the second part of our upper press construction and that is going to be the column so these are the dimensions we are going to use for the column uh just as a note if you're having some issues with this dimension this one here uh this is a six the dimension is a six okay six inches so uh let's go ahead and start our drawing remember we start with create new create body create sketch click on xy click on okay uh click on the polyline tool go ahead and draw a rough outline something of the sort okay we are done let's go ahead and give it dimensions that will be one inch that will be six inches that will be 0.5 okay you can always pull this aside and doesn't matter we shall constrain it okay so we also know from here to from there to the center uh we know that is going to be 1.062 okay and then from here to the center that will be one inch put these dimensions in the place you can see them and then this is two inches okay so we are starting to have some idea of how this is coming out okay so go ahead and click on the fillet tool click on that and that that and that select radius that will be one inch and this will be 0 0.380 okay we're doing okay so go ahead and click on that click on that tool click on that and give this 3.5 okay the same will be that and this go ahead and give it 3.5 let's just put that there so you guys can see it that's okay and then we're going to lock this still to that okay hold on let's do vertical maybe let's lock this to that and we shall give that six inches and we have one degree of freedom okay Okay, hey, and we have one degree of freedom, so let's go ahead and check that. And get that to, let's see, to that spot. This. To this. And that is one inch. So we have this completely locked down. Go ahead and click on close. You should have something of the sort. Uh, go ahead and click on pad. Uh, that is going to be one inch. Okay. That's how our part is going to look like. Click on the back. Click on sketch. Uh, click on construction lines. Go 
ahead and click on the circle. Horizontal distance from that to that is going to be 0.5. Vertical distance from that to this is going to be 5. Sorry, it's 0.5, not 5 inches. 0.5. And that diameter 390, not radius. Point three nine zero. Okay, let's move this to the side so you can see all that. Okay, so go ahead and click on close. Pocket through all. Okay, click on that face. Sketch. Suck again. Construction lines, horizontal, point five, vertical, point five. Radius 0.562. Okay, that way, that way, that way. Close pocket, and that is going to be 0.375. Okay, so at this point, everything should be this way. Okay, so let's go ahead and Click on that face, sketch. Let's go ahead and draw circle. That is going to be here. And that one has a radius of 0.5. Go ahead and click on close, do a pocket. And that is going to be through. Click on OK. Click on that again. Click on that spot. Draw another circle at that spot. That is going to be 1.1. 1. 1. Click close pocket and that pocket is going to be 0.776 click ok you should have something of the sort click the face click that uh, more construction lines shall put some there some there and then draw a square touching that line and that line okay and then this is going to be and five and we know this and this will be a car okay so that slot is done. Go ahead and close. Uh, this is still a pocket. And that pocket is 0.625. So it should be this way. So if you look, turn it around. This is how it looks like. Uh, the gear will be here. And then the rack will pass here, and this is the spot where the rack and the gear interact from to provide the movement. So if you look at this, this is just enough to allow the gear go through, and this slot will be for the rack. Okay, so click that face, click on create sketch. Uh, let's go ahead and draw some construction lines. 
So I'll go ahead and do that. Just going to do something real fast. So let's go ahead and draw these four circles. Okay. And then select all of them. Indicate they are equal. Okay. So go ahead and click on one of them. Give it a radius. And that is going to be 0 0.136. Okay. And then we are going to give them give it a horizontal and that is going to be 0 0.125 and then a vertical 0 0.125 yeah so let's do 0 0.125 inches just be sure Point one two five. Let me just copy this since it's the same. Then we do vertical. Press that in there. Yeah. Point one two five. Weird. Why is this adjusting it automatically. Okay, so let's do this. Make sure we have that set up. This should be well aligned. Let me just draw a line in there. Just make sure all of them are sitting at the same level. Yeah. Yeah, all of them are sitting at the same level. Okay, so should be that way. Go ahead and put these so you can see them. I just did this the long way, but they're not difficult to draw. So we are done with that we are going to do a pocket and that pocket should be 0 0.690 yeah so the rest of the so this is where the screw head sits so the rest of the hole will be the threads so you use a threading tool to drill uh, 0.44 in there using uh 832 unc uh thread threading tool so that's done i think we are done with uh the column is there anything we have missed out i don't think so we look at the back everything seems to be fine so we go ahead and save our column remember we saved our base and then let's go to the assembly so for the assembly uh go to f edit and make sure under tools make sure you go to add-ons and install a2 plus make sure you install a2 plus okay so after you install that change the workbench to a2 plus Okay, and then create a, a new document.
and first save it okay first save that document after you save it click on this and get your base go ahead and open it we already have our base here let's rotate it to where we can see it well so we have our base here go ahead and add the column the one we just created uh, let's bring it closer to that and we're going to turn it around to where we want it to be roughly so click on that click on that tool uh, we shall use the circles to twist it around so then we move it this way like that so if you have it roughly in the position you want it which should be that let me move it a little higher like that uh go ahead and click on okay turn around click on that face click on that face press control click on that face and click on this constraint which is plain constraint okay turn it on the bottom click on the bottom control and click on that and add another constraint which is a plain constraint and accept and you should have something of the sort now click on that face let me bring it back in view click on that face turn it around and click on that inner face you see that and that and then click on plain constraint and accept and as simple as that you have your two parts assembled now sometimes you may have drawn and given yourself some tolerances in here and you may want to shift the part slightly so you always go to the constraint let's say the the ones on the column the one we're on double click on it and put an offset on where you want it to be currently my offset is zero so and that's how i've assembled uh, the base and the column and that's it for today uh, next time we shall go to the next part and we shall also bring it into this and then assemble it uh, part by part we shall have all our parts assembled and we have our uh, tool uh, our upper press complete uh, that's it for today i hope you have a good day bye for now